In this video, we are going to graph exponential functions. Let's start with a simple example. So let's say f of x equals 2 to the power of x. So that's a very simple exponential function. Um, so just to review, exponential function is a function where your variable is in the exponent. Okay. So that's f of x equals 2x. Now how do we normally graph a function? So when we graph a function, we need a table of values, right? Because that's how we will plot the points and then connecting the, the, the dots and everything. Okay, so so let's let's uh, find some points. Now, luckily for us, for exponential functions, we only need two points. Okay, so let's do that. So let's have so let's x and then y and then we need two x and y values. Okay, we need two points. Now, how do we know the values of our x? Well, uh, you know, obviously we can use any value that we want, but we want a value that will um, help us graph the function easier. Okay, so to do that, to do that, let's take the exponent. In this case, our exponent is just x. So let's take that exponent and equate that to zero and one. Okay, so take the exponent, equate it to zero and one, and then solve for x for both equations. But then here, there's no need to solve for x because x is basically solved it's 0 and 1 so there's no need to solve so all we need to do is write 0 and 1 in our table and then to solve for y we need to plug in values for x right so let's solve f of 0 so f of 0 would be 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 0 is 1 okay so therefore that's 1 and then we solve f of 1 so 2 to the power 1 2 to the power of 1 is what 2 okay so our y value here is 2 okay so now our table is complete we can get rid of this okay now we're ready to graph the function so let's draw a Cartesian plane right here okay so this is 1 2 1 2 1 2 okay and then plot the points. Let's plot 0, 1. What's 0, 1? 0 for x, 1 for y, so that's here. And then for the second point, that's 1, 2, so 1, 2, so that's here. Now we only have two points. How do we know the form of our of our um, of our function, right? How do we know the, the what the graph will look like? Okay. Now there's one more thing that we need to talk about, and that's the horizontal asymptote let's let's write that here so the horizontal asymptote okay an exponential function has a horizontal asymptote but it doesn't have a vertical asymptote okay so it only has a, um, a horizontal asymptote and the horizontal asymptote is this number here now in this case for this function that is zero okay because that's 2x, basically that's 2x plus 0. So that number there gives you the horizontal asymptote. And so since that's 0, we can then write horizontal asymptote as y equals 0. So that's our horizontal asymptote. Okay. And that's the x-axis. Okay. So let's let's plot, um, I mean, let's let's sketch our horizontal asymptote. So it's y equals 0, so it's going to be the, the x-axis. And so therefore, our graph will look like this. It will just sort of um, go closer and closer to your asymptote, but it will never cross that line. Okay, so that's going to be the what the graph will look like for f of x equals 2x. Okay, so that's the graph of f of x equals 2 to the power of x. Okay, that's how you do it. So let's say we have f of x equals 3 to the power of x minus 1. Again, that's, a, that's an exponential function, right? So again, we need a table of values for that graph, so x and y. So what are our x's? Okay. So again, take the exponent and equate that to 0 and 1. And then solve for x. So if we solve for x here, we will get x equals 1. And for this one, we will get x equals 2. So therefore, our x values are 1 and 2. Okay? 
then we can evaluate our function at 1 and 2. So what is our, what is f of, what is our f of 1? f of 1 would be 3 to the power of 1 minus 1. That's 3 to the power of 0. That will give us 1. Okay? And then for f of 2, that's 3 to the power of 2 minus 1 equals 3 to the power of 1. That will give us 3. So our values for y are 1 and 3. Okay? And then we um, sketch the graph. Okay? So let's sketch the graph. So we need a partition plane. So that's 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, one, two, three. Okay. Now, again, we need our horizontal asymptote. Okay? So we need our horizontal asymptote. So the horizontal asymptote is that number here. Again, it is zero. Okay? For this example, it is still zero. And so therefore, our horizontal asymptote is y equals zero. So if we plot that here, so that's going to be this line. So that's going to be our horizontal asymptote. Then let's plot our points. 1, 1 is here. 2, 3. That's 2, 3. That's here. And then just sketch your graph. Again, remember. That's not going to hit or even cross the asymptote. So that's how... The graph will look like. Let's have another example. Let's say our function is f of x equals one half to the power of x plus one plus one. Okay, so this function is still an exponential function but a bit more complicated. Okay, so what do we do? First, since our b value, our base, is less than 1, we're going to convert that into something that is greater than 1, okay? And to do that, we'll use the loss of exponents, okay? Remember that 1 half is equal to 2 to the power of negative 1, okay? So 1 half is 2 to the power of negative 1, and so this one, I could write that as 2 to the negative 1 to the power of x plus 1, plus 1. And then again, um, the power rule for exponents. Remember, x to the power of n to the power of m is equal to x to the power of n times m. So, I can just multiply my exponents. And that will give me 2 to the power of negative 1 times x plus 1. Let's solve that. So, that's negative 1 times x plus 1. That's equal to negative x minus 1. And basically, that's it. So that's negative x minus 1. And then copy plus 1. So that's going to be our new function. So let's erase this. So this is going to be our new function. So x, y. And then the question is, what's our x? Or what are our x's? We need two x values. So again, take that exponent. So that is negative x minus 1, and then equate that to 0 and 1. So that's 0, and negative x minus 1 equals 1, and then solve for x. So this will give us x equals negative 1, and then here, this will give us um, x equals negative 2. Okay, so our x values here will be negative 1, and negative 2. Okay? So, f of negative 1 will give us 2 to the power of negative, and then x is negative 1, minus 1, plus 1. Okay? That will give us 2 to the power of negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Positive 1, positive 1, minus 1 is 0, so that's 0, plus 1. That will give us 1, plus 1, that's 2, okay? So, of f of negative 1 is 2, okay? Then, what about f of negative 2? So, that is 2 to the power of negative 
negative 2 minus 1 plus 1. So what is that? So that's 2 to the power of 2, basically that's positive 2, minus 1, that's 1, plus 1. So that's 2 plus 1, that will give us 3. So our y is 3. And so now we are ready to sketch the graph. So let's sketch the graph. So that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Now, before we do sketching, we still need to find our horizontal asymptote. Okay? So the horizontal asymptote is this number. Okay? Positive 1. And so therefore, horizontal asymptote is y equals 1. So that's going to be our horizontal asymptote. Let's see where is that. So y equals 1. So that's here. So this line right here is going to be our horizontal asymptote. Okay. So let's plot negative 1 and positive 2. Where is that? So negative 1, positive 2, that's here. And then negative 2, positive 3, that's here. And so our graph will look like this. That's something like this. Again, that should not touch our asymptote. So that's going to be the graph of x of f of x equals one half to the power of x plus one plus one. 